First tonight, cleanup is happening in the hardest hit areas of Florida after both Hurricane Helene and Milton made landfall. Thanks for joining us this Saturday night. I'm Chin Doan. Volunteers from Oklahoma have been helping with disaster response all week. News on 6's Aaron Conrad brings us the latest from those helping there. Aaron. Chin, every time a storm hits here in Oklahoma, we talk about the Oklahoma standard, but that doesn't end at the state border. We have teams from all across our state headed down to Florida, helping with just about anything you could think of. We've seen quite a bit of tree damage, which we're very familiar with after uh, three tornadoes in Mays County and the Father's Day storm for 2023. Um, it was very similar to a lot of tree debris. Um, that we, we've seen and before. Michael Dunham is the deputy director of emergency management in Mays County. He's with a swift water rescue team made up of firefighters from across the state, GRDA officers, members of the Quapaw Marshal Service, among others. They've been staged in Polk County, Florida until today. And so now they've moved us to Tampa. Tampa is a big base camp. I mean, there's probably, a, I'd probably say no less than, um, Probably close to 500 responders that are on site here. Dunham's team is just one of many from Oklahoma. This photo from OGE shows linemen there working to restore power in Sarasota. More than 100 line crews were sent from our state to help. A task force made up of emergency managers, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, and other first responders pictured here has been in Tallahassee, staging for incident management. OHP Lieutenant A.K. Williams spoke with us over the phone today as his team headed back to Oklahoma. We wanted to be able to help. You know, Florida came up and responded to the sulfur and Barnstall tornadoes. They brought their incident management team up and helped our citizens through that. And we were more than eager to pay that back. Uh, would have liked to have been tasked, but, you know, there is some consolation that uh, the impact was really less than what they had prepared for. So maybe it was good that we didn't get deployed. As for Dunham and his team, they aren't sure how much longer they'll be needed. I know quite a few of us are missing our wives and kids and our puppy dogs, but uh, we, we all want to eventually get home. But we know we, what we signed up for, so we're going to give them the best 10 days we got uh, if they need us to. And, and if, if not, we'll come home and, and enjoy ourselves. Well, Dunham says their next assignment is tomorrow early in the morning. It's a rescue somewhere outside of Tampa in a county just outside of there. Uh, they say that the biggest challenges that Florida is facing right now is getting power back on and getting fuel to gas stations. Live in Tulsa, Aaron Conrad, Oklahoma's own News on 6.